hi this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and all year long I have been doing from scratch planner spreads using basically just a piece of copy paper or printer paper and decorating with washi stickers hand lettering stamping and just pretty much whatever I had available well today I want to do something a little different for my planner spread. I have a piece of tea stained paper here and it's just a it's either a 24 pound or 32 pound weight paper that I stained with a bunch of other papers with dipping it into a solution of tea and water and then drying it in the oven. I have a bunch of other papers like this now you may say oh this is a bit much for planning this isn't necessarily a functional planning what has this got to do with planning planning to me does not necessarily have to be all of one thing or the other some people are totally functional they just put pen to paper and that works for them and that's fine and you may not want to do a decorative or artistic or crafty style planning for every aspect that you need to plan for. I come from a, a visual arts background and I've always done crafty things my whole life. So to me, this is my life. This is how I am. And doing things creatively translates into everything that I do. I'm not saying that this is right or wrong. It's right for me. It's what works for me. I'm not saying that you and you and you should plan this way. It's just what I choose to do. It's fun for me. And I also like to do this because it might inspire you to think outside of the box. Maybe you might think, oh, I could have done, I can do a spread like that. Or I can add that technique to something I'm doing. And it may not even be planning. It may be some craft uh, project or some DIY project that you have for yourself so I just want to come on and explain that because this time this week I'm going to just do whatever I want to do for my spread not and it may be considered totally art it may not be considered planning I'm, I'm gonna leave that interpretation up to you to me this is my planner spread for the week it's Christmas my favorite time of the year and also my birthday month so I feel like I'm just gonna do whatever I want to do with that, all of that said I pulled out some things that I want to work with for this spread I want this to be more of a vintage feel classic Christmas layout so I have some washi tape here that I got on clearance last year well after Christmas sometime in January I'm sure I don't know how much I paid for it, but I can tell you I did not pay $14.99 at all for this. And I just pulled it out of my Christmas supplies box, craft supply box. I have some stamps here that I've used, I think last week, that I want to play around with using. These are my pretty much go-to stamps for my spreads lately. See, this one is it really needs to be cleaned I guess I'll be cleaning stamps pull this one out I don't ordinarily use this for my spreads because one of the things from for my from scratch spreads I decided to do was try to use as much was washi as possible I've been mostly sticking with washi but I think I can incorporate these border stamps in some way I have these are the um, me and my big ideas create 365 I think uh, definitely man be um, date stamps and these are the Inka Dinka Do uh, these are letter stamps I don't think they have a name but here is the information and I'm really bad about putting my stamps up they basically go into a clear storage box and I need to come up with better storage but that's a topic for another day and then I may use some other stamps along the way this is my craft mat and I'm going to put this on my surface to protect because I'm also going to use some distress ink 
from Tim Holtz. Now I wasn't sure about using this because it is, I think, water reactive, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is walnut stain is the color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this paper in half. And I should probably tear it in half in keeping with the vintage feel, but um, there's only so much vintage I want to do that's going to actually go in my planner. And I just look at this as more of a keepsake type item. You might even want to try some of this for your December daily if you're doing that. Um, if I had thought of it earlier, I probably would have gone with a December weekly. <laughs> Because for some reason, even though I made myself a daily notebook, I am just not able to keep up. Okay, so I here are my two pieces. And I'm going to start by um, using the Distress Ink. Uh, got some gold on there. To just go around the edge of the paper and distress it a little bit more. Probably not as much as I want it right there. but I still want the, the tea stain effect to show through. So I'm not gonna do too, too much with the Distress Ink. So next, I think I wanna go ahead and mark I'm going to do this as a horizontal spread. So I have a piece. This is my scrap paper, I think, from last week's. Just second and third generation stamping and testing the stamping on here. Anyway, I folded it. It's a regular 8.5 by 11 letter sheet of paper. So I fold it in in half, which gives me the size of my current page. So I just want to divide this into four sections. So I fold it in half here, then I'm going to fold it in half again. And that actually gives me four sections. So one, two, three, four. So that's what I need to do my horizontal spread. So I'm going to lay that down on my paper, get a pencil. And use that to lightly mark where I need to divide the page. And I'm just going to do that on both sides of the paper. Okay, so now I know where I need to either apply the washi tape or draw my lines. And I'm going to keep this out. Let's hopefully I won't lose those marks with what I'm about to do. <laughs> I have this stamp here. I don't have a stamp block that's big enough to hold this. But I think this is kind of what I want to do with this stamp. And I may actually come on this edge and do it as well. There may not be as much washi involved in this spread as usual. So what I can do is use my stamp press to do this. My We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press. And let's try that. This is all a bit of an experiment. So I didn't really want to get that clean of a stamp. Just kind of rough it up a little bit so that it will take the ink. But let's try it and see what happens. And I do have a new um, stamp press platform. But I don't really want to use it yet until I've actually done the, uh, gotten the review video up. So anyway, I'm going to add the ink to the stamp. Where's my 
I'm going to just play with my scrap paper just to see what it looks like. So I think that's okay. So I'm going to add some more ink. I think that's pretty nice actually. And maybe if it were a little lighter that might be even better. And maybe I should have chosen a lighter brown ink but I'm going to go with this for now. So that's quite nice. So I'm just going to wipe some of this excess ink off before I put this back on my paper to stamp the rest of the border. Okay, 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 okay. Looks like I'm going to have to try <laughs> do this. Let me see, let me try one more way. Uh, now, looks like I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull out the Tim Holtz. So you all are gonna get to see this, even though I don't have my video up for it yet. Here it is. Okay, so I haven't really practiced with this a lot yet. I think this is the side that I want for clear. I haven't figured out if the it should say clear up here when I'm looking at it down there or if it should say clear underneath. So I, I still gotta figure out how to work this thing and I haven't even put tabs on my magnets yet these magnets are really strong and can break easily but as you can see the base of this one is much larger than the we are memory keepers which which gives me a little more space for my stamp and I could even turn the paper the other way probably and that would be better do that okay so I'm gonna line the stamp up with the previous one it doesn't have to be this perfect that's just me so I just want it to be as in line as I can get it oops see I put ink on the wrong part I don't really want ink on this part swipe that off and ink the rest of this up to the edge So I'm thinking that I have it on the wrong side. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I am just gonna lay this down on here. And stamp this bad boy just like this. Okay no need to fight with it now this time around I will do it differently see these are the things that happen to me when I am doing a spread so let's try this again this time I'm gonna start on the edge
So this time I'll let it hang off the edge a little bit. I didn't think of that before. So hopefully it'll work a little bit better. And I didn't wipe the extra ink off. But it's okay because it should ink into the same spot again. And it did. So even though I like the the quality of the other stamp a little better because it's from the We Are Memory, I can tell I will get better stamp impressions with this one. So let's do the mistletoe. Like I said, this one is going to be totally over the top I just want to play with my stamps these are Christmas stamps a lot of them that I only get to use once a year some I've never used because I bought them on clearance so I'm going to play and I should, probably should put some green on this hmm I think I'll stamp it again with a little green. Let's see if I can find some. I have these. Let's try pine needles. I don't want to put too much. Let's see, I have some red already out. So I have this red from Hampton Arts. I don't really have a good distress red. Let's see. Aged mahogany. I guess we could try that one. Let's, let's do a little in the middle of it. Let's see. To give it a little depth. And then I'll do the edges with the bright red. See how that looks. I'm just playing, so. Ooh, that's awfully bright, though. Okay, it's okay. Not crazy about it, but we'll make it work. And for these berries, I'm gonna ooh, I'm gonna stick with the aged mahogany, I think. Probably should just leave well enough alone, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, I do like that better. So, lesson learned if you're doing vintage look, stick with the vintage looking colors. Okay, so I have to put this aside. These need to be cleaned. Okay, now to divide it up, do I actually want to use a washi tape? So I don't have any small vintage washies, but I could make do with what I have actually. And I know I want to add some white to make it really pop and stand out. So I'm 
I'm gonna get the white ones that I have out of here and, and it just seems like I can't do anything without adding a little at least a little bit of gold to it and I know a lot of people don't like gold but these are my three thin white washies I'm gonna play around with those and this one because it's kind of similar to the color of the paper and I think it will blend well at least a little better than these because they are a bit colorful and I don't want to put too much color in the base of the design so let's go ahead I guess I can I like working on this platform I think I can put that aside for the time being till we get ready to stamp our dates so this is where we are I'm going to go ahead and add washi now if I can still see where my dots are What I was trying to say at the beginning of the video is basically, I mean, why can't we just accept people for who they are, what they are, what they like? If that's what they like, I'm like this. If you like it, as they say, if you like it, I love it. Do what you, what makes you happy. And who am I to come along and say anything other, uh, uh, otherwise? Do what makes you happy and forget about what everybody else has to say about it. Okay. I think it's time to bring the platform back in because I am really loving it. For some reason, I cannot get a good clean stamp with these monthly stamps for the Mambi thing. So I'm not really feeling that at all. But go over it with some walnut stain and see how that looks. Yeah, it's okay. Let's move on. I'm not going to let it distract me. <laughs> Let's move on to the days of the week. And it looks like this washi is crooked. Yes, it is. The Delicata Golden Glitz. y'all <laughs> okay let's pull out the washi and fix that mm. 
Okay, I tried. It came out as well as a little better than I expected. Let's put this back with its white full set. Which is here. I think these would work much better with a black ink, but I just didn't want to do black again this week. I wanted to switch it up and do some different colors. So, this is where we are. And I'm going to have to add what's sticking on here. Uh, and so, since I used that washi there, I'm going to add a little piece somewhere else to balance that. And I think here is a good place. But I don't want it to fall on top of the T. Let's see, is there any other washi I might want to use to accent the page? I think I like this a little bit. something right there just a little piece or maybe here yeah I might put Santa there <laughs> 